weather flight, Houston. Houston weather flight, go ahead. Roger, any last minute updates, Dick? Negative, everything the same as before. Okay, thank you very much. Are they targeted for 1-5, I'm assuming? That's affirmative. Okay. I'll say once more, we're away to come to California. Roger that. directly from the south at 10 knots. Challenger's airspeed, 255 knots, altitude 34,000 feet. Touching the hack now. 18 miles to touchdown. Out of 30,000 feet at 257 knots. Beginning the wide sweeping left turn around the hack. Twenty-five thousand feet. Two hundred and sixty knots. Thousand feet, 258 knots. Challenger turning final now. Right on the nominal track. Uh, flight dynamics officer will bolt reports. Glide slope and turning toward the center line. 14,000 feet. 282 knots. Your energy looks good. Surface wind 180 at 10. Ten thousand feet at 282 knots. On glide slope on center line. Sixty five hundred feet, two hundred and eighty one knots. Challengers back home, back to Earth. Uh, the unofficial touchdown time, 
uh, in mission elapsed time, six days, two hours, 24 minutes, 10 seconds. That time is unofficial. Roger, we see that. Uh, congratulations, a great looking landing. And uh, from the entry team, uh, we've got some good news. Good news is the uh, beer is very, very cold this morning. The bad news is it's 3,000 miles away. That's what I was afraid of. And I'll hand you over to uh, the good guy Gardner here, and he'll talk to you about your post landing. Roger that. And Challenger, we're going to go through the nominal post landing procedures, uh, and then we'll may bias that later based on the ammonia and how it holds out. The only deltas are, as you know, delete the hydraulic load test. And then just a reminder that the uh, body flap read writes that we added via teleprinter are not required at Edwards. We understand that. Uh -huh. Crew disembarking now. Five crewmen doing a walk around inspection of Challenger. All five crew members. Hey, leader, safe. 